It is day 31 of Breaking Skyblock with Pay to Win. Yesterday, we finally completed our solo floor seven. I am so happy that is finally done. That was by far my hardest challenge yet. So I am happy to be able to say that I have completed that and we can move on to what is going to be the last big challenge, which is conquering Blaze Slayer and taking down a tier four Blaze. After I've done that, I'm pretty satisfied saying that we've conquered all the parts of Skyblock that I think are interesting to conquer with pay to win stuff. So yeah, I guess today we're gonna start exploring more of the Crimson Isles stuff and seeing if we can uh, start working our way towards that tier four blaze but first of course while we're here at the crimson isle anyway might as well get my daily heavy pearls because these heavy pearls are going to be needed to upgrade some of the armor pieces that we're going to want for blaze slayer anyway all right and there we go um yep that brings me up to 30 heavy pearls in total now anyways i guess also though um i did mention yesterday as well I do need to keep buying my maxed out daily cookies if we do eventually want to get this golden dragon pet because we literally I think we did the calculations it's like over two billion if not like two and a half billion coins that I'm gonna need to get everything I want for the g-drag so let's go ahead and just get it over with I'm gonna go ahead and buy my $400 worth of gems to start off things here today so make sure you use code rage train if you buy yourself anything in the high pixel store all right there we go gems are in i think i actually have like way more than i need but that's fine anyway let's go ahead and start selling on bazaar cookie prices are still holding up decently i do want the coins immediately though so we're just gonna do an insta sell i wish we hadn't spent so many coins <laughs> on this stupid storm set i i think on like the between the runes and the dies i probably overspent like at least a quarter of a billion coins so we could have a lot more coins to my name right now but i kind of didn't approach it in the smartest way possible to be honest oh my god i'm already at the daily limit that happened way too fast and i'm only at 1.4 bill okay only 1.4 bill that's a lot of coins but still we need so much more than this maybe i maybe i should honestly try and sell the e-drag how much do we think we can, i could get out of this a level 100 legendary neon red ender dragon with dwarf turtle shelmet how many coins could i get back out of this if i sold it right now okay well the skin itself is worth like 72 mil okay so a non-tier boosted ender dragon is 570 mil like this is the only comparable one to mine on the auction house and it's 620 million coins i think i could put mine up for 600 mil and have it sell because this is the only one that's equivalent to mine if i put it up for 600 mil it's cheaper than this one do we sell it i mean it basically doesn't have any use to me any use for me at this point any, anymore right and if we sell it that just means i can get the g drag quicker we're selling it what i'll do is just to make sure we actually get some coins back out of it I'm gonna put it up for like a very cheap price. So that the cheapest level 100 legendary ender dragon is 569 mil and it doesn't have a skin on it. So I'm gonna list this thing up for 568 mil and that way it'll sell. So this is a this is a really good deal for whoever ends up getting this, but I'm okay with it doing that way because my main priority is to get the coins as fast as possible. Okay, and there we go. That was a very fast sale. I will go ahead and collect my auction and boom. There we go. We are up to nearly 2 billion coins in the purse now. So I think this should be enough for us to buy a level 200 G-Drag, still upgrade our bank all the way, and also have a decent amount of coins in the bank. So what are we looking at for a level 200 golden dragon? Okay, so lowest price. Oh my god, wait. It is not a huge markup like I thought it was going to be. 1.065 uh, billion? What's better, antique remedies or a dwarf turtle shelmet? Probably dwarf turtle shelmet, right? Oh wait, I guess Minos Relic, right? This one with Minos Relic for 1.07. Look, if we end up wanting to switch to a shelmet, I can do it for like 1 million coins. And the one with the Minos Relic is only an extra million coins. So we're gonna go ahead and do this one right here with the Minos Relic. Boom! Oh my god, that is a massive purchase right there. 1.07 billion coins for the G-Drag here. We can go ahead and equip that now. Where is it at? Let me unhide pets as well so we can see it. Sheesh, look at that. We have a Hype and a G-Drag now. We have Mango Died Storm. We are flexing. We are flexing. Okay. Now we have 878 million coins left in the purse. So we're not gonna be able to have the 1 billion coin maxed out bank anyway. So that is something we'll probably still have to work towards tomorrow. And I also have to upgrade my bank account to begin with. Wait, I forgot about this. I do need to get gold collection. So to even be able to hold a billion coins in the bank, I need 
one mil gold collection. I think that should be pretty easy to get. We might need to buy a setup for that though. One sec, let's look into this. Let's look into this really quickly. So in order to go farm gold collection in the crystal hollows, what do I need? Is it just... Do I just want mineral armor? Yeah, I, I'm not even going to be able to use Devon armor because it's HOTM 6. I could use a mixture of like mineral. I could do like a, I could do like mineral and sorrow chest plate or something. Oh my God. Recom jaded mineral helmet. Yes, I love that. 11.2 million coins. I am buying that. That is a massive flex. Uh, jaded mineral leggings. No recommed one, huh? Well, this is all that's up there. So I guess I'm grabbing these. 5.8 million coins and we'll recom them myself and then jaded mineral boots only one pair as well my god i'm, I'm glad i got my hands on those Th that's literally all that was out there um now let me put recoms on these two and then we'll be good to go so bizarre recombobulator buy instantly grab two of those for 12 mil and then we'll go apply it in the dungeon hub boom okay beautiful now i'll go ahead and replace these three pieces of sorrow with mineral and look at us go now perfect wait i have to find I, I guess i'm just gonna use like a pico nimbus or something right i don't really have access to anything other than that so i guess we're just gonna use a pico nimbus and hopefully it's good enough oh wait i just i just realized the problem we're about to have i'm not even hotm3 right i can't even go to the crystal hollows and get gold collection until i'm hotm3 <laughs> I didn't even think about that. This is like a problem we have to deal with now. What HOTM am I? Okay, we are HOTM 2. I'm 7,000 HOTM XP away, and then we can go to the Crystal Hollow. So how hard is 7,000 XP? How much can I get with just my dailies? 4K with dailies? Okay, it, it won't be that then. It won't be bad. HOTM 3 is very doable for us, I think. So let's go do this one. 10 Titanium Ore in the Royal Mines. Okay, there's that one. Okay, mine 350 Mithril Ore and Lava Springs. Oh yeah, I guess I should do full sorrow while I'm mining this stuff, right? Okay, wait, so my daily ones are over. What are we at? Okay, so I need to get another 3,000 XP with non-dailies. Oh my god, that's 30 more commissions? Yeah, honestly, thir 30 comms is, is just too much right now. We'll just wait until dailies reset either later today or tomorrow to finish up uh, getting to HTM tier 3. I don't know if it's going to be that urgent for me to use my golden drag yet anyway today. It's probably going to be more important when we get to higher levels of Blaze Slayer. And today, we're probably just going to be doing like the very early like preliminary stuff so i don't think it'll be too bad so we'll uh we'll finish those up tomorrow so if i want to get started on blaze slayer how do we even go about that like if i can i just pull my maddox bat phone here and just call in a tier one blaze slayer right now or is there more to it than that let's see inferno demon lord oh wait i literally can't just call in a tier one that, that's the first question here then to, to when i to start out with blaze here am i gonna want to use my right click mage setup here it looks so weird with the shadow goggles. It just doesn't look right. Okay, where's the blaze stuff at? I'm all the way over at like Kudra now, I think this is. Is this blaze stuff here? Oh, here we go. Oh my god, how much HP do these guys have? I was not ready for these guys to have this much HP. Wait, they literally have five and a half million HP a pop? Oh yeah, what, what pet should I be using right now? At the moment, I have golden dragon on, but my bank has zero coins in it. So I'm assuming my G-drag is not very good. My bank has zero coins in it. I have no gold collection. Wait, let's see. What, what's my gold collection? Wait, I actually have 50k gold collection. It's more than I expected to have. I'm not going to lie. We could use sheep. Okay, we'll try with sheep pet. I feel like I'm going to be really squishy with this on. But I can give it a try. Okay, wow. Wait, I'm taking so much damage. And these are just the things I have to kill to spawn it in? How hard is the tier 1 blaze compared to these guys? Is the tier 1 blaze like easier to kill than these guys are or no? Grapple hook? Is that on the auction house? Moody grapple shot. Do I want this? Let's see. Throw a hook to grab and pull blazes. Pulling a blaze multiplies it. Oh, wait. It's okay. Yeah, wait. Definitely want that. Okay. Oh, buy from NPC? 3.562 mil? How much was this one? Wait, the one on AH is literally cheaper though. Okay, I'm buying the one off AH for 3 mil coins. You guys almost scammed me. The one on AH was literally cheaper than that. Why'd you guys tell me to buy for the NPC? I literally just saved 500,000 coins. Okay, so how does this work now? Right click? And now they take twice as much damage? Oh, W. Okay, this one's gonna spawn it. This one's gonna spawn it. I probably wanna spawn it more up here. So I don't immediately get melted. Okay, let me put my plasma flux down as well. Okay, so now that this is where it spawns in these mini bosses. Oh, wait. Is that it? Wait, that was way too easy. I literally just melted that guy. Okay, wait, the tier one was literally nothing. Now I'm imagining though, if it's anything like Enderman, tier two 
is probably like a whole different ballpark, right? The tier two only takes damage to daggers. Okay, well, can I, can I just buy the daggers off of the auction house or do I need to craft them myself? Oh, I see. I need Blaze Slayer level two in order to be able to use these. How far am I from that now? So in order to even be able to attempt a tier two, I'm going to need to hit Blaze Slayer level two so we can buy those two daggers. So I guess until we hit Blaze Slayer level two, I just farm out tier ones then? Go to Fortress? Okay, where's the Fortress? Is, is that like a better place to do these or what? Is it just in like a like a room around here or something? Like these one? No, that's not it. Oh, I see. Oh, they do count towards it. Okay, yeah. I'll have to kill a couple more of them in order for it to spawn in, but a lot easier. Okay, this should be the last one. And then we hit level two blaze and I can buy those daggers. I'm kind of still worried about the tier two anyway, though, because I'm taking a pretty decent amount of damage from the tier ones even. I feel like the tier twos might not really be a walk in the park even with these daggers, but we'll see. Okay, so I need fire dust dagger and twilight dagger. Do I want to buy like a good version of this or does it not really does it not really matter too much? Like how long am I going to be using this thing for? A while? Okay, I'm buying this fire dust one for 5.5 mil and then I need a twi- what is it? Twilight dagger is the other one. I'm just going to buy this one for 4.9 mil. I think the 20 mil ones are kind of just a scam. I'm going to buy the cheaper ones and then I'll just put on any upgrades that I want myself. So let's collect those. Do I have access to the hex right now? I do. I can't- I don't think I can put on re- yeah, I'm still not high enough carpentry to put on recoms in here though, but we can upgrade some of like the enchantments and stuff. Okay, there we go. I think the two daggers are good. They just need recoms now. So let's go do that really quickly. And grab two recoms again boom there we go that one's recommed and that one's recommed cool i think the i think these two are good now i guess we could upgrade the gems on them I, I think I, i'm gonna i'm gonna not go too crazy on maxing these out though because i don't think there, there are gonna be like higher tier daggers so i don't want to go crazy on these if we're gonna end up buying like better daggers anyway you know what i'm saying i don't want to like invest way crazy amount of coins into them oh wait i can just upgrade these ones into the higher tiers okay okay yeah we, we, we can go a little bit crazy on max them out then let's go to uh i'll put the better gemstones on them then as well sheesh almost 20 million coins for those two that's a little bit nuts perfect jasper on them beautiful I'll, I'll do the smoldering later well actually i could throw like at least smoldering one on them smoldering kind of expensive like a smoldering one is five million coins all right you know what i'll throw smoldering one on them I'll throw smoldering one on both of them for the extra 3% damage and we can upgrade the smoldering level later, okay? I feel like five mil for smoldering one on each of them is, is good enough. Put opal power scroll. Gain plus 10 true defense for five seconds when... Okay, sure. Um, They're cheap anyway. Okay, there you go. They both have an opal power scroll on them now too, I think. I don't even, I don't even know where that shows up, but I think they have it on there. <laughs> Anything else I need to upgrade on these two or is that good now? Oh yeah, wait, that, that's true. Do I want to switch... Now that I'm going to be using these two daggers, do I want to switch off like using hype and stuff like what is my what is my plan for for armor and stuff now and all that am i am i should i completely go away from the right click mage strat now crimson armor with warden helm i can do that sorrow chest plate instead of crimson chest plate really like this oh yeah i guess i am gonna still want the hype for the wither impact right do i want to switch this into a scylla now actually should i switch this into a scylla since we're only using it for the wither impact now okay so what is it is it bigfoot lassos I probably, I might have some. I have four Bigfoot lassos already, so I think I just need four more of these. Okay, there we go. Eight Bigfoot lassos now. And can I, do I just do it like this? And this, wait, it's going to lose a gemstone? Wait, is that real? Is it actually going to lose my gemstone? It'll refund. It's cheaper. It gives it back to you. Okay, I'm, I'm going to trust you guys that it gives it back to me. Let's find out. Um, where, uh, where's the gemstone? Guys, you can claim it back in the grinder guys oh claim outdated gemstones okay okay you're right you're right we got it we got it okay <laughs> okay good call good call yeah i just need to re-unlock the gemstone slot now so i need a flawless jasper sapphire ruby amethyst okay wait it is not cheap to re-unlock that slot oh my god my god wait so do, do i want to put a sapphire in there again okay yeah we'll just put the perfect sapphire back in there now okay sweet and now i want to change the reforge to suspicious right so what i need for that is that in bazaar suspicious vial suspicious vial where is that at right here mining skill 23 am i high enough i'm only mining skill 22 wait how do i get how do i get 250,000 mining xp real quick do i buy some jerry boxes okay I, look i'm just gonna leave it on heroic for now we'll, we'll try and worry about getting the upgrade to suspicious later because I'll, I'll probably hit mining 23 in the not so distant future when i have to finish up these uh 
but I have to get to HOTM3 anyway, so we'll, we'll worry about that then. I'm not, we'll, we'll figure it out at that point, okay? I'm not too worried about it right now. Okay, I do need to change the reforge on the sorrow chest plate though, because right now it's on jaded, which I don't think is ideal. So what should the reforge on the sorrow chest plate be? Ancient? That is also a problem. <laughs> uh, maybe I need to just pay someone to put suspicious on my Scylla. Man, that's that's scary though. Giving someone my Scylla to put suspicious on it, I do not trust that. Okay, we're saying to put an opal on the, the sorrow here though, instead of the topaz. Okay, we'll go ahead and do that. 10.8 mil. Boom. There we go. Perfect opal on it. Honestly, I'll wait till I can, I'll wait till I can find someone I trust to, to fix the reforge on this stuff. I guess we'll just leave it on jaded for now and see how it goes. If it ends up being a problem, then we can figure it out. Bob, if you scam this though, oh my god. Okay, wait, what do I what do I need to give you here? What do I need to give you? Bomb, I'm trusting you, man. Oh, he's gonna give me he's gonna give me collateral of his astray. Okay. Well, and he's gone, GG. Uh, yikes, you crashed. Okay, well, while we're waiting for Bomb to get back on, I'll do the I'll do the gemstones on my crimson. So I want to I want to do perfect jaspers on these, right? Oh my wait, it's gonna be so expensive to get these slots. So four flawless jaspers, four flawless sapphires, four flawless rubies, and four flawless amethyst. Okay, there we go. I got all. <laughs> uh now all the slots are unlocked. I think that was like a hundred. That might have been like a hundred million coins, and then. Now I have to actually buy the Jaspers for another 40 million coins. Oh my god. Okay, well at least it, at least they have uh, the perfect Jaspers on them now. But that was ridiculously expensive. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Look at that purse. That is going down by the minute. We are definitely going to need to buy another $400 worth of cookies tomorrow to get the coins in the bank for G-Drag. Oh yeah, true. All this stuff needs hot potato books as well. Bruh, I, I keep thinking like, all right, we've spent a bunch of coins now and there's still more to be spent. Okay, so there we go. That's fully hot potato booked and fuming. Oh, I should upgrade everything to growth six, prot six at least as well. Okay, there we go. Oh my God, I'm below 600 mil. I'm below 600 mil. Wait, now I want to go recom everything too. I can go ahead and recom the crimson armor. So buy two more recoms oh my god this is getting so expensive and now we can upgrade i can upgrade the stars on them too right is that what is that under up, upgrade items is it worth using my heavy pearls to upgrade the stars on these should i get them both to 10 star so first let me buy some crimson essence um how much is like 100 1.4 mil that's fine we'll buy 100 for now wait how much is each upgrade gonna cost 80 crimson essence Wait, we're gonna need even more than that my god i guess i'll buy another 400 Oh my god, this is expensive. Okay, so now we should have like 500 Crimson Essence. Okay, so I'll just keep upgrading these until it requires Kudra Teeth. And then we're not gonna be able to go anymore. Okay, wow. 90 Crimson Essence, 4 Heavy Pearls, and a million coins. Jesus. Okay, yeah, now it takes Kudra Teeth already. But we can get them both to 10 star, I think, right? Yeah, 10 star there. Wow. Holy, okay. And we, we, we had to use 14 of my heavy pearls for that. It was almost half of them. I just need to get someone here who I trust to fix the reforge on my sorrow chest plate and on my Scylla. And then I think we're totally good to go. All right, Fuzzy, get over here. How much do I need to pay? Well, I guess I'll, I'll pay him when I get these back and he's actually done it. Honestly, this is this is a big task. This is a big task. If if he does this, we'll give him 10 mil for it. I trust him, okay? he He's done a lot of stuff for me. There is no way he scams me. There is no way he scams me. I trust him. I trust him very much to do it. He's helped me with a lot of stuff on my other profile. Though. I trust that he will do this in good faith. Hey, there we go. Perfect. Thank you so much. All right, 10 mil coins. Actually, you know what? That's like a high stakes job. We'll give him 15 mil for that. We'll give him 15 mil. He could have just scammed me for like, I already... Wait, did I give you my moody grapple shot on accident too? Okay, I did not mean to give you that. So thank you. <laughs> I accidentally traded him the moody grapple shot and I didn't even know. Everything is sorted out now. We have our two daggers. They've got nice enchants on it. We've got like perfect jaspers loaded up on everything. I think we're good. Let's go let's go test out a tier two blaze. Oh yeah, I should recom I should recom the sorrow. Oh yeah, I need to recom the sorrow chest plate as well. My god, I think we literally just spent like 300 million coins out of nowhere. How does this stuff always end up getting so expensive? Okay, the sorrow chest plate is now recommed as well. How does this stuff always end up getting so crazy expensive? Okay, these could spawn in here, I think. Okay, I have no idea how this thing works. This could end very poorly. Let's see. Okay, Ashen. Okay, this is an Ashen right now. Oh, wait, th this isn't going too bad yet. 
I'm not sure if my plasma... Oh, wait, spirit? Which one is spirit? Okay, this one? <laughs> I have no idea, like, which one is which mode. Wait, so far, not too bad, though. Wait, Auric? Okay, this one's Auric now. Wait, this is not bad so far. I don't know if it's about to get way harder. Where's crystal? This one is crystal. Oh, I'm taking, I'm, I'm taking damage. I'm taking damage. Okay. Okay, I, wait, I'm, I'm kind of getting the hang of this. I'm kind of understanding how this works now. Wait, let me get a... Okay, the plasma flux is carrying. The plasma flux is carrying. We need that down. Auric, okay. Ashen. Which one? Okay, there we go. We got Ashen. Oh. Wait, 3 million true damage from an exploding fire pillar? Oh, Wither Cloak for the pillar? Okay, let me get my Wither Cloak back out. Bro, the Wither Cloak's like one of the most goaded items in the game. <laughs> okay, where's the pillar? Where's the pillar? I'm waiting for the pillar to be here. Okay, so it's like a big physical object. Where is it? Wait, I don't- I actually don't know what the pillar is. Dink Donk and Box or Blaze Tower? Okay, may maybe maybe that'll be good. Someone said like a pillar of hardened clay. I'm looking for it. What's it in? Ashen? Oh, here it is. Here it is, right? This is the fire pillar. Okay, I'm just gonna wither cloak. I'm trying to wither cloak through it. Did that work? I think I think we got through it. I think we got through it. Pillar again. Three seconds. I need to wither cloak through it. We're almost there. Almost there. Crystal? Hey, we got it. We got it. Let's go. Woof. That's only a tier two, man. That is way tougher than what I'm expecting from a tier two. My god. Tier four is not gonna be easy. We got the tier two then. Nice. All right. Well, at least I kind of understand the mechanics now. I, I kind of have like a, a basic idea of how to do these things. So just a matter of getting good now, I guess. <laughs> just a matter of grinding it out some more and actually getting good.